Okay, so we're here in Hot Springs. Um, if anybody uh, knows their history, they'll know that Hot Springs was a place where uh, people would go to get um, therapeutic medications done. We are on the way. Um, it was also a hangout of um, thank you the hangout of the mob and um, if you all know the story behind Al Capone, Al Capone got uh, imprisoned by uh, the feds for tax evasion, spent about 15 years in prison and um, uh, then his syphilis uh, took over his mind, he was released, the feds kept an eye on him for about uh, 10 or 15 years after he was released from prison um, because uh, his fortune of money, cash, was buried somewhere and it was buried somewhere near water so potentially somewhere around here could be a big stack of cash In Hot Springs here they have these little fountains that uh, a lot of people come along with their water bottles and they fill their water bottles up. Uh, really interesting. So we've seen about three or four of these already. Way over in the background there, this majestic building here, is the, uh, the rehabilitation centre. And I'll tell you a bit more about that when we get up a little bit closer. Okay, behind me is um, Effectively, the Hot Springs Rehabilitation Centre. This has been closed for a what, two, four, four years. Um, uh, hopefully, won't be demolished. Uh, this was a rehabilitation centre for Army, Navy, Air Force back after the war. It was built in the 1930s, um, and then uh, what, about 1960, it changed into the rehabilitation centre from. Army, Navy and Air Force. We found out an interesting little fun fact about Hot Springs. Um, now, most people know um, President Bill Clinton came from Arkansas. Well, apparently he actually came from Hot Springs. And back in 1963, um, another famous president, um, which was JFK. Um, now, JFK, I presume, momentarily before his assassination. So we've got a photograph of JFK and a young Bill Clinton, which I'll put up right now. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.